Okay, the next thing we're going to show you is our apparatus bay where we keep all of our trucks. And this is probably the most um, exciting place that kids like to go to and check things out. So when we get a call, we come down, come down the stairs that we went up in the last video. And if I'm driving, one of the first things I might do is I'm going to come up to our map here. And this is a map of the entire city of Austin. And lots of times if we get an address where we're not too sure about, we'll come and, come and look at our map and just make sure that we know where we're going. A nice thing about this map too is it shows where every single fire hydrant is in the city. So if we look for our address, we can look for a little white triangle and that shows us where our nearest hydrant's at. And then after that, we're going to come to our truck and we're going to get ready to go. This truck here that I'm pointing at is um, what we call engine 302. This is our daily driver. If you ever see a, a fire truck driving around the city um, at any time of the day, it's going to be this truck. This is the truck that we're always driving um, as the full-time crew. So what, we're, what we would do, if you see here, I have my boots laid out, and I also have my jacket that's hanging on the door, on the inside of the door, which you can't see. But if we get a fire call, the first thing I'm going to do is take off my boots, and I'm going to put on my bumper pants, and then we're going to get in the truck and go. So this truck, its main job is to pump water. Um, we have a lot of hose on here, we have water, we have foam, but we also have a lot of different tools in it as well. We have our extrication tools, which we use to cut cars open. We can spread metal apart with them. We have saws, we have fire extinguishers, we have wrenches, hammers, we have a lot of different tools that we have on this truck. Um, this next truck here is what we, is called 309. It's one of our two grass rigs. Um, this is the time of year where we get a lot of grass fires and field fires. So right in the back here, you can see the holes on top of it. We have water that's in a tank here, and we can start the motor on the truck, and it will kick water out for us so we can fight field fires. We're going to move down here to our next, to our first ladder truck. This is ladder 303. This is our newest ladder truck we have. And we call it a ladder truck because you can see on top we have a big giant ladder. There's 75 feet of ladder on the top of this truck. And it can move all the way around 360 degrees and it can go almost straight up in the air. And right at the end of the ladder, we have a master stream which puts out a lot, a lot of water. And we can use this to point down and hit um, a fire from the top. And if when you look here, this whole row of gear here is where everyone keeps all of their gear. Everyone's got their own locker. We can see the empty one right here is mine. I don't have anything in here besides a sweatshirt because all my gear is on the truck ready to go. But we have all of our full-time firefighters and all of our part-time firefighters here is all on this back wall ready to go in case if we have an emergency. Our next truck, and I'll show you some of the holes on the back. Our next truck is engine 305, and this is our backup. So if we have work getting done on our main truck, or if something breaks on our main truck, we're going to drive this one around, and this is going to take us to where we need to go. And on the back here, you can look, we have all of our different holes that sits on the back of the truck. We have holes that hooks up to the hydrant. This hose can hook up to the hydrant as well, but we can also use fight fire. And then we have various tools. We have what are called pipe poles on the back here. Like I said, we have tools all over these trucks. And then our next one is 301. Um, this truck is, some people call the rescue. Um, we have a lot of tools on this truck as well. We have a torch. We have um, bags that actually inflate that you can put underneath vehicles and other heavy objects. And you can inflate the bags with air, and that those bags will lift the object off of a person or off of something. But in the back here, we have a big, giant bench seat. And the goal of this truck is to pretty much carry people to the fire scene. And every spot that you can get six firefighters in the back here, every spot has an air pack, and people just sit right in the bench seat, and they get taken to the fire. One of our last trucks is going to be ladder 308, and we'll walk towards the front of this one so we can see the bucket. 
But this ladder 308 has a 100 foot ladder on the um, top of the truck, and this can uh, get to a lot of high places in town. We don't use it a whole lot, but when we have, it's provided, it's been very useful. As we move, move towards the front, I'll show you the bucket. <laughs> On the very front of the truck, we have our bucket, and the bucket can hold two firefighters, and the firefighters can um, operate a pretty much a big water gun that's on the top of the truck and they can aim it from up there and they can put out fire. Um, they can also, there's tools up there, they can um, cut holes in the roofs from this bucket and if the need ever arises they can actually rescue people from the bucket as well. This is a really big truck. Alright, our next truck that we have is 304. Um, 304 is our tanker truck. Um, we have 2,000 gallons of water that sit, sits on the back of this truck. So if we ever have a fire out in the country where there's not any fire hydrants, this is the second truck that's going to go to any fire. And um, we have pretty much, there's two big swimming pools that we'll put on the ground that we fill up with water. And those can hold about 2,000 gallons of water. So one of these tanks will fill up one of our little pools, and with that pool, we'll actually suck water out of that pool. The next truck is the cops truck. We're not going to talk about that. That's their truck. If you want to talk about their truck, you can, they can come give you a tour of their truck. But they use this uh, for emergencies every once in a while. Our next truck is called um, 306, and this is actually our chief's truck. So the chief has to respond all the time. Um, even when he's not working, he responds to the fire. So he actually takes this vehicle home with him. So if we ever get a fire in the middle of the night, he hops in this vehicle, and that will take him to the fire. And he keeps all of his gear all the time in the back of his truck. So he's ready to go, go to an emer emergency at any time, any time of day. Any time of night, he's ready to go. And then our next truck that we have, that's our last local show, is 313. And this is another one of our grass rigs. This is one of our this is our newest grass truck that we have. And this has got about 250 gallons of water in the back of it. And it's a really great tool that we use to fight uh, field fires and grass fires. With it being a pickup truck, it can go a lot of different places that our bigger trucks can't go. Our bigger trucks can't drive in farm fields and can't drive in grass because we worry about them getting stuck. But this being a pickup truck, we can take it anywhere. So if we go towards the front here, we'll show you the whole line of vehicles. And just to kind of give you an idea of what our whole apparatus bay looks like. And any one of these trucks we can take at any time. And we actually have Sparky here waiting to go on a call. So Sparky's sitting in the officer seat, and the person in the officer seat is the one that makes all the important decisions. So Sparky's obviously ready to go fight a fire. Well, he might be waiting a while. We'll see. But I want to thank everyone for taking time watching the video. I hope after all this corona stuff ends, that you guys can come here for our open house next year and come visit us and actually see all the trucks and all of our equipment in person. Stay safe everyone and thanks for listening.